And now Gwen's going to run through a brief thing of what she does, what her role is. And if we can, and Cheryl's taping so we can fill in as needed if these guys aren't here. So, okay. Here's my this, this is just the song part of the Yummy Yummy song. This is Miss Square song. So it goes, peanut butter, jelly sandwich, macaroni, ooey gooey, ice cream sundae, lots of whipped cream. I want seconds, yummy, yummy. And you go back down backwards. Wow. Yummy, yummy, I want seconds, lots of whipped cream. Ice cream sundae, ooey gooey, macaroni, a jelly sandwich, peanut butter. You have to do it. So, so I'm tapping the areas where all the spoon will land on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the macaroni and the ice cream. Will you talk about um, what the sound of square and triangle are briefly? Oh, here. I can do that part. So um, after they're done um, listening to the story, I'll say, you know, did everyone like that story? Who likes listening to me? Raise your hand. And a bunch of them will. <laughs> and who knows how to count to ten? Raise your hand. A few of them will do that. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll say, did you know that when you make music, you are making math? It's true. In our story today, Max's an adventure begins when he finds two sticks. Oh, I'll all. have them down here. <laughs> I'll have the right ones for you. I'll just leave them right there. Oh, here. What if Max found four sticks? What kind of shape could Max make with these sticks? So we hand these out, and the kids make, some of them make interesting shapes, and we yeah. accept all ideas. Those are very interesting shapes. If somebody happens to make a square, you'll say, oh, I like that square, and go on to the next part. Or if not, say, how about this? And then we go on. Um, all the sticks at that time? To groups. To groups. groups. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. so they work together. together. Mm -hmm. um, and then, now, I like those squares. What do you think a square might sound like? And they might give a couple ideas or maybe they have no ideas. How about something like this? One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. You're on the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead of you. I pick up the violin or two of the beats or notes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. So you, yeah, you, yeah. Way will do the as she does the square. Then I as she does one, two, two three, four. You can I all do, do it. Yeah. Three, four. Leveraging our leveraging art and science. Yeah. And for young kids, they respond to this. And then um, to get them the feel, I'll say, uh, how about this? Oh, 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 oh. Try it with me. Um. Did you know that some words can be squares too? How about a peanut butter mm. jelly sandwich? And he taps four while I do that. <laughs> You're moving up the track. And then that's when I sing the song. Uh, I know a song that's square, and we sing that. Um, and you, you know, depending on the, the group of students that you have, you could introduce, say, um, let's crescendo as we go up. Get louder as we go up, crescendo. So, you know, that's like paraphrasing, so it teaches them, like, in context with these yeah. words. Um, it's not that important that they understand, like, you know, musical, music theory. It's just mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. vocabulary you're putting in. Uh, and then, can you sing it with me? So the kids sing, and then, now here's the tricky part. Who can sing it backwards with me? That's and a then, challenge. Yeah, you really could do, <laughs> for me, <laughs> you could do some pretty neat things with four sticks. Now, what would happen if Max dropped one of his sticks? How many sticks does he have left? Three. That's right, three sticks. <laughs> what kind of shapes could you make with three sticks? Let me do that, and it's, it's the same thing again. Um, you know, and I like that triangle. Did you know that some words are triangles? And you can, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you know there's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying this out of order because I didn't do this out of order. Um, the triangle one is, oh, I like those triangles. Did you know that there is a musical instrument called a triangle? That's right. How, who can guess how many sides it has? One, two, three. That's right, three sides. Triangle. Try it with me. Triangle. And then 
then this is what I said. Did you know you can? I have two different <laughs> lesson plans here. You can go with numbers or music. So you can say, Did you know that some words are triangles? Let's make some triangle words. How about we make a triangle zoo and mm. ask them what animals they can think of that are like um, buffalo, elephant, or butterfly, bumblebee. Um, they may come up with just dog, but say, say dog. Like you know, you just reinforce that they did one syllable. Yeah. Um, they're never wrong. They're right. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, number option was. So some of you raised your hand before when I asked who could count to ten. Let's see if we can sing to ten with triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Try it with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty neat what you all just did, making math and music and words all at the same time. Now it's your turn to try it out. Everyone will have a chance of playing the drums and the violins. When it's your turn, try to see if you can make some square sounds and some triangle sounds. And this is where they disperse. And then the ending is just... You know, thank you for making music and math with us today. Let's sing the peanut butter song one more time before you leave. And you could say, this time let's sing it presto, very fast, presto. Um, you could do it that, if you have time, you could do it largo. And then, um, good job. I hope you will find some of your own sticks and try making your own shapes and sounds and words with different numbers. So an assignment for them. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yay! for recording. <laughs>